Welcome back to Weary Wolf Adventures and Reviews. In this video I want to take a look at three different options for a backpacking meal. I want to compare the options of a freeze dried meal, an MRE and then a tinned option. I want to compare them for price, weight, calories, protein and then finally a taste test before looking at the pros and cons for each option. The first consideration of the three options would be price. The freeze dried food, adventure food, expedition quality chilli con carne came in at £8 making it the most expensive option. In the middle range we have the MRE Wayfarer chilli and rice which came in at £5 and the cheapest option was the stag chilli con carne at £1.50. It's important to note that each of these meals represent a one person quantity. Next, let's consider the total killer calories. Let's start with the least calories and work our way to the most calories. The Wayfarer MRE has the least amount of killer calories coming in at 456. The stag tinned chili was mid-range with 536 kilocalories and the freeze-dried adventure food chili came in at the highest amount of kilocalories, 600. Our next consideration is the amount of protein. The MRE came in at the lowest with 14.7 grams. The Freeze-dried adventure food came in at 22.8, making it the middle. And the stag chilli tin came in at the highest, 28 grams. At first glance, the freeze-dried option would seem to be the lightest option. But we need to consider the extra water it requires, and which will be incorporated into the volume of weight that we carry in the pack. We also need to consider the weight of the tin itself, so let's weigh these products. The MRE comes in, including packaging, at 314 grams. The tin stag chilli comes in, including packaging, at 462 grams. And the freeze dried food, which at first glance would be deemed as the lightest, including the requested or advised volume of water 375 mils plus packaging plus a suitable packaging for the water we need to carry comes in at 541 grams. So when we consider that a lot of people advise and recommend a freeze drive dried pouch for a meal when on the go backpacking or any general outdoors activities where weight is a consideration actually is a lot heavier when you combine the water needed to be carried with it. Now you could argue that when you're out on a longer term trip you could account for a water source where you can process, purify your water um, every time you stop for a meal but I'm looking at it in regards of a single backpack meal for the end of a short trip albeit maybe one night when you're out for example, on a fishing trip. So the actual scale of weight goes MRE ready to eat, tinned ready to eat, freeze dried, including the water. Before we get to the preparing and tasting and looking at the texture and the quality of the products, I just want to mention one more uh, note, which I feel is worth considering and that's the ease of availability so we've discussed the cost of the products but another consideration that needs to be taken is how quickly and easily we could obtain these products freeze dried and MREs are primarily bought by myself online or when I make infrequent trips to a camping stores such as go outdoors or decathlon tins are available in all supermarkets corner shops and generally most stores which stock and supply food. They can also be bought online in bulk 
which when factored into the fact that it's also the cheapest product to buy makes them a more convenient easy to access at short notice product that said all of these products have a long shelf life with the freeze dried being arguably the longest shelf life and then the tin products i mean they last well past their best before date um, providing the tin's not damaged and then the meal ready to eat they also have an extended shelf life so when looking at availability as much as i discuss it's easy just to go to the shop and buy a tin product it is convenient to have a supply of dehydrated and meals ready to eat on a shelf Avail at home ready to go at short notice finally let's discuss and look at the options for preparing both the MRE and the tin product can be eaten cold as is as soon as you open the product and be heated up the freeze dry obviously requires heated water to be added Both the MRE and the freeze dry can be consumed from the pouch with the freeze dried need requiring the water to be added and it does have a fill line for the 370 mils of water and then obviously you can just tear open and eat the MRE itself whereas the tin will need to be placed in a suitable cooking vessel because uh, if you try and cook this in the tin, which they do show you on some videos and people go backpacking, survival camping, they do open the product and heat it from the tin of the bottom. But I've found the majority of the time this will burn at the bottom. It will heat uh, from the bottom too quickly, burn the product, and then it's just it's a, it requires a heating pan or a, a saucepan. That said, let's heat some water up. Let's warm up the MRE and let's get the tin chilli into a cooking pot. That's the MRE. That's this tin stag chili. And we've just added the hot water to the freeze dried. Let's get them indoors. Let's let this sit for a few minutes, absorb all the water, and we'll get them onto some plates. So I did say that I was going to plate up, but I'm going to eat them how I would eat them when I'm out backpacking and fishing and stuff like that. So the first. Um, First one we're going to taste test is the MRE, meal ready to eat, the one I cooked in the mess tin over my Coleman, or no, the Van Gogh stove, sorry. So there's plenty, I'll hold this up to the camera, there's plenty of uh, kidney beans, lots of rice in there, and let's give it a taste test. Salt, it's salty. I mean, they, they always are. There's, there's quite a lot of salt in these MREs. I mean, you can taste the kidney beans. You can taste a little bit of beef in it. Um, very rich. A bit. It's hard to explain. So it's a bit sticky, a bit slimy. 
but it's nice. Obviously, you can heat the pouch up for the MRE, but I've opted for cooking it like this because that's how I would cook it when I'm out and about. So you have both options when it comes to the MRE in the pouch, boil it, or empty the contents and heat it up. Okay, so that's all right. Next up, we've got the tin stag chili. Now, I eat this a lot at home anyway because I use it with jacket potatoes and stuff, so I know pretty much what I'm getting with this for the purpose of this video. So you've got lots of beans. This comes with big chunks of beef. Um, it doesn't have rice in it, so that's the next point of contention, which I'm going to get to in a minute, but I'll just give it a taste test. It doesn't have that slimy, sticky consistency as the MRE one. I don't know if that's like the starch from the rice, which is actually a good shout. It probably is the starch from the rice. It just gives it a weird consistency. Now, it's edible, and when I'm out and about, I've, I've eaten the Wayfarers before. So, yeah, that's all right. But, I mean, I'm going to have to be honest, taste test-wise, I, I love stag chilli from a tin anyway. This is the mild version. So, spice-wise, this has got a little bit more spice in it, than a little bit more spicy flavours than the MRE. Oh, lots more beef. Something I didn't mention um, with regards to the weight of the products. I'm going to put a little picture up in a second of the weight of the stag chili, which was the mid-range in the weight uh, com comparisons. When I go out with the tin stuff, um, I always like to put these little miniature pre-cooked pots of rice in with it. So you'll see an image up now. As an optional extra, I would I often add a small pack of rice to my tinned chilli when I choose this as an option for the extra calories and the small added weight. And then what we do, what I tend to do is I'll open this up. I just peel it up. You can add this. I mean, you can eat this. This is already steamed rice, so you can eat it as it is. And when it adds, I add it into the heat of the chilli. Once it's added in with the chilli from the tin, it becomes a more substantial meal. And it also adds an extra 153 calories to it. So it comes in uh, just over 50 grams heavier to add the little packet portion of rice. But you get a more substantial calories, you get a more filling meal, and it gives a bit of rice to the stag chilli in the tin, which is the only one which doesn't come with rice included. Just improves it. And lastly, we're going to try the freeze dried, which has been sat absorbing water for the last 10 minutes, as advised. Don't see a lot of meat in here. It's going to be hot, isn't it? Lots of rice, lighter. Again, lots of uh, kidney beans. bland so it's a bit bland I can taste a lot of rice in it it's got more of a tomatoey base to it almost tastes like a pasta sauce as opposed to a chili it doesn't have that slimy consistency but it almost has like um, a pot I referred to this into my last MRE test it's got like a pot noodley taste to it um, I definitely, definitely would say if I was to rank them, I'd be going top of my list is the tin stag chili. Second, I'm looking at the freeze dried, and this isn't anything to do with convenience. Um, this is purely on my what I would like to eat if I had to choose between the three. So I'm going stag, freeze dried, and then the MRE because it's just a bit slimy. I keep saying it, but it's, it's, I just have that feeling when I eat it. What we're going to do, we're going to get a couple of family members in. I'm going to get them to try it. I'm going to see what their opinion is and how they rate it. So I'm going to put this into a bowl. I'm going to put the three out there. I'm going to get them to try all three. And then we'll say to them at the end, which one's your favourite? It'd be interesting to see what ones they opt for.
Right, so I've got my wife and my son as the guinea pigs. Um, I've explained their pl the plan. So they're going to try a mouthful of each, uh, of all three of these, and then they're going to give their opinion on which one they like the most. So, Shia, do you want to go first? Or do you actually just go at the same time, guys? Just maybe describe what you think about it. Which one should we go first? Whatever one. Whatever one. Mm, look good. Yeah? Not spicy? Which one you, sorry, which one did you go for? The middle, the middle one. one. Okay. So just yeah, just do like one of each. Right? Whatever one you like, you can eat anyway. So just let that go down for it. <laughs> you could just put them all in. <laughs> got to let it to taste it. You just got to give it a minute so that you can process it. I'm taking more cheesy than that one. Cheesy. Okay. Yeah. So, Vicky, what what do you think so far? Which one's nicest so far? Mm. Oh, nice and Oh, that one's got loads more flavour. Okay. What about oh. consistency? That one's a bit more plain than the others. This really? one's really nice. Okay. That one's really like moist texture. Right. That's not. It's not dry, but no. it's like. Okay. It's not as. Mm, it's nice. Right, so it doesn't have as much moisture as that one, but it's still nice. Yeah. I like the flavour of this one. So flavour, have you I like tried the this one? Of yeah, this I just one. tried that one second. Right, so try quickly while mummy tries that. Yeah. Which one out of those three is your favourite? Oh the middle one. Okay, and what's your least favourite? Uh, uh, that one. This is my favourite. Okay. It's different. Right, so Shia, this is your favourite yeah. and that's your least favourite. Sticky. That's my favourite. Yeah. And your least favourite? I don't know, probably. I don't have a least favourite because so I think this one's got the nice moisture, but this one's got right, a nice okay. flavour. So if those were two together, that would be really, it would like kind of probably make this one. And this one, one is your favourite? Yeah. Shall I tell you which one's which? What? So that's the tin stag chilli. Yeah. Oh, right, yeah. With yeah. added rice. Yeah. That is the MRE. Yeah. Now I'll be honest with you. I found that a bit slimy in consistency. Yeah. I, I, found, I, like I, I keep saying I kept saying slimy on this over and over again, but what I think it is is the starch and the rice where it's pre cooked yeah. in the thing. I wanted to say slimy, but I didn't want to. I didn't want to be negative. That's about fine. It, but I, I said slimy four hundred times. It is still, it is still nice though. It's still a nice. It's it's still a nice I don't. I like the sliminess consistency. Did you? This one. Oh, I, I didn't. Like, it put me off a little bit. I liked it because it, 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 it tasted a bit like cheese. Right. Yeah. Okay. It and felt then, a bit like cheese in your yeah, mouth. It okay. does actually, like, yeah, like melted cheese. Melted cheese, cheese. Yeah. so I'll get, I'll get that. Um, and this one is the freeze dried. Yeah, right. I, could, I could tell that yeah. one was freeze dried. So yeah. if you had to take, just quickly, because I don't want the video to run too long, if you had to take one of them, then you, you'd take that and you'd take that. I yeah. would take that, but it depends which one's easier to store. And yeah, that's what we've been investigating, so I'll yeah. show you the video when it's finished. But yeah, thanks, guinea pigs. <laughs> so there we have it. Um, both adults like the tin stag chili over the MRE and the dehydrated and my son likes the MRE. I think the purpose of that video was just basically looking at the different options available. Now I think all of them come with their own merits. Um, another consideration is obviously uh, mess and cleaning up. I mean the freeze dried you tip the water in, have it in the food packet, you seal the packet up minimal waste obviously you've got a wash out or use a tin um, the MRE you can eat out the packet as well so I mean there's a few considerations to be made it's not a scientific examination it's just showing you that there are other options I found it really interesting um, and it wasn't until recently that I made the consideration when looking at the freeze dried it's um it's heavier when you've got to carry the extra water and anyone who goes backpacking and that knows that water has you know, has a detrimental effect on the f overall weight of the bag. Um, just wanted to quickly plug next week's video because I'm hope if you're still watching this, I, I just obviously you must have enjoyed what I put out. So I just wanted to make it uh, show you that next week we are going to be opening up um, menu nine of the 24 hour combat ration. Uh, really looking forward to that one. Enjoyed menu six. It's done quite well on the view so far. Uh, if you're watching, please like and subscribe. It really helps with the channel. I know we're new and we're starting out, 
but I've really enjoyed doing these videos so far. I've had a bit of positive feedback and a few comments. So yeah, have a fantastic weekend and the rest of the week coming up and I'll see you next week. Take care everyone. Bye bye.